Hey what's up guys and welcome back to the new Reaper tips number 4. Today we're looking at a custom action called Swell. This custom action was made by Rob and his and you guys should check out his channel, he has a bunch of really cool Reaper stuff too. This is a technique called Reaper Swell and it is very often used in vocals, impacts, snares and a lot of things. And it gives your mids a very interesting sound. So for this example I have a recording on someone screaming die. Uh, I don't know, it's the only thing I could find. And this is how it sounds like. Die. Yeah, I know, it's kinda gay. But we can make this even more interesting with a reverb swell. The first thing we need to do is finding the first vowel of the phrase. So for instance, if our recording says die, we, sh we need to find the I, not the D. The D, because the D is silent and it wouldn't make sense. So you just play the audio until you get rid of the D. Die. 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 Around there. And then you just make a small selection and then hit the swell button. And this is the result. Die. It's, it's so cool. It just, it all happened in just one click. That's awesome. So I'm gonna show you now how to set this up. So the first thing that you need to do is download the two files that I leave in the description below. One of them is the swell folder and the other one is an extension that you should have. Once you have these two folders, you should open up Reaper and then go to Options and Show Reaper Resource Path. Once you get your Reaper folder open, we're gonna go to the folder that we just downloaded and we're gonna see that there's two folders, one key map and the track templates. We're gonna move the key map file into the key map folder in Reaper. And same thing for the other one, the track template file to the track template folder in Reaper. Then we need to install the SWS extension, which is this file right here. We just need to move it to the user plugin folder. Once that's done, you should close Reaper. Once you're in Reaper, go to Actions menu, show Actions list, and click Import and Import again. You should go to the key map folder and you should find the swell file that we just downloaded. Once you import it, you should see it at the top of your list and it's called swell. And if you can't find it, you can just type it down and it should be there. So we have two options here. We can either put it on a toolbar or just have a shortcut for it. In this case, we're gonna just put it on a toolbar. So we're gonna right click on the left corner right here and press customize toolbar. Then we're gonna press add and find our custom action and press select. Then you should be able to see it here and click save. Then we need to go to options, preferences, and find the media tab. In this place, we're gonna put 2000 milliseconds on these spots right here where it says take effects tail length. We're gonna press OK. Then it should work. Let's just test it out. So let's just make a new track and then import the same file, which would be this one. Put it here. A small selection around here. And press the swell button. And we should be able to see it. Die. And it works. Yay. You're gonna notice that it's gonna split your file like you can see right here. But you can just select the files and right click and click on heal split items. And it's just turned back to normal. Okay, so what if you want your own reverse settings? This is actually very easy to do. We're gonna right click in this area, insert track from template and load the one that it says 01. So this is a track where everything is happening and you can see the reverse settings that are being applied. However, you can just delete this one and just put your own reverb into it. In this case, I'm gonna use this one. So for this type of effects, we always want dry signal onto it, like a 30%, 40% kind of thing. So the transition feels better. We're gonna put the size, make it very huge and just... And it should work like that. Now that you're done with your settings, you can just close this and then right click on the track and save track as a track template. And this is really important, you need to name it by the same name, which will be 01. Then you click save and replace. And now every time that you're using the swell action, it's gonna use your own reverse settings. So let's make a small selection again and hit the swell button. This one is, yeah, I'm, I actually made it super huge, so that's why. So I'm gonna just make a really fade in. This is not gonna be as good, but yeah, there you go. So it should be the same. So yeah, those are my own reverse settings. And that'll be it. 
thank you so much for watching this video guys and if you have any questions please let me know i'm gonna answer you really really fast <laughs> so um subscribe and do all that stuff and you know <laughs> and i hope to see you next time bye bye